Hello folks, I am making this video because it was uh, requested how I get uh, such big discounts on things um, such as tools or services or computers. Um, now they've been around for a long time, but there's these websites like uh, Capital One Shopping. Um, Honey is another big one. That's I really don't care for Honey. Um, it seems more invasive than actually finding cash back. Um, there is uh, Top Cash Back is a great one. Um, and uh, probably the oldest that I know of is Rakuten, which actually used to be uh, um, Ebates, which was a much better name. Um, so we still call it Ebates, but now it's just Rakuten Cashback. Now, how do I get such awesome deals? Well, I found a little loophole with the Capital One shopping system. And what happens is if you visit a website now, um, because it does take a little time for my loophole to work, a couple days actually. No, you're not going to be sitting at your computer. I'll explain in a moment. Um, From IMDb.com. Computer, a stop. Computer, a off. Damn, Alexa. <laughs> um, so what I will do is just kind of demo pr a couple previous deals that I've gotten. Um so what you do is uh, now say, well, we'll start with Ace Hardware. Um, say you want something like uh, the Milwaukee lawnmower. Okay, so here we are. Just search for Milwaukee lawnmower. Now I have, you have to have the their toolbars or uh, little extensions installed in your Chrome browser. So here's Rakuten one popped up. They say I got 2% cash back. We're going to dismiss that. I rarely actually use Rakuten anymore unless it's, uh, it's it, the deals just aren't good anymore. Um, they take their cut of the cash back, leaving not too much for the user. We got Capital One Shopping. This is 3.5 and Top Cash Back is 4.2. So you might think Top Cash Back's the best right now. It is not. So we want the Milwaukee mower. So let's select that one. Now, you can also double dip like for Ace Hardware here. Uh, you can earn Ace Rewards. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have an account, sign in. I'm not going to do it now, but uh, you can sign in. You can earn 10,990 rewards. I actually got a couple of nice toolboxes because of the rewards, so you kind of can double dip. So what you're going to do is, um, all right, browse around. Stay on this page a little bit. Add to cart. So it's now added to cart. And yes, and you're going to have to accept cookies. We're going to continue shopping. But now I'm going to go up here and activate Capital One Shopping. So notice up in the corner, it's kind of doing its thing. It can go a little slow. It's Saturday morning, so the family's all using the internet right now. So it's probably going to go a little slower than usual, but it looks like it is now applied. So activated, great. So we're gonna go back to front page. There's really no hard science behind it, but you're gonna wanna visit the item and just the item that you wanted. Okay, now Rakuten's gonna try and get me back over there. Um, they're gonna want me to, Capital One Shopping's gonna want me to try codes. Um, notice the website's kinda acting a little funny. It's because of the cashback things. Uh, cashback is still activated. We're not going to try any codes right now, but we're going to go back to the product page. Browse around, click some things, blah, blah, blah. Cool. And I will tell you, this is one freaking awesome lawnmower. You can do about an acre on a charge. Okay, I hate these stupid feedback things. I'm going to refresh a bit. And then we're going to leave the website but we didn't buy anything. Now, come back in a few more hours. Go back to, so we'll go back to acehardware.com. So now we're back to acehardware.com. Of course, all the stupid pop-ups trying to get us to activate. Now this can be a few hours later. So Capital One Shopping will have been deactivated. So you can activate it again. So just pretend we activated it again. But then even though the item's in the cart, don't go back to the cart. Go back to, try and go back directly to the item you, were, you want to purchase. So, but don't go direct. So, you know, look around a little bit so that it knows you're on the website. Okay. 
All right, we're looking at it again, still in our cart, but we're still not buying. So you want to close the website. Now come back the next day. It might take two, three, four. The longest I've ever had to take was five days. And um, we're going to go back to an email I saved <coughs> from last year. So this one's April 25th. I think this was the actual email I used. I was looking at both the solo stove and the Milwaukee mower at the time. But what's going to happen is eventually, after after browsing that product and it, the website noticing you're not buying, but you keep coming back to it, so it knows you really want it, but you're not buying. So what incentive do they have to get you to buy? And yes, I know this isn't the mower, um, but um, at the time, like I said, I was looking at the solar stove. I never bought a solar stove, though. And I was also looking at the mower, but they sent me, they send you out a special limited time offer. And it's usually good for just a couple days after they send it to you. And then what you do is you go, you click the activate offer, and it'll, it's not going to, see, it's not going to work because the, this offer's long since expired, but it'll bring you back over to, directly to, to that product. Capital One Shopping will then be activated, but it will show, instead of showing the general percentage, like right here, 3.5%, it will instead show the, in this case, 21% cash back. So, you are stacking for deal, you will get, now, once you get that 21% cash back, it'll show up here. Then you can go and go through the checkout. So in this case, um, I would also recommend taking screenshots just in case something happens and your cash back doesn't come through. You click that Capital One shopping extension, boom. Oh, and I'll also note, you don't have to be a Capital One credit card holder to use Capital One shopping. Anybody can sign up. So I'd first click the, once you're in the cart, go show Capital One Shopping. Um, you'll show that it's activated and how much cash back you're getting. Um, then you go through the checkout process and every step of the checkout, take another screenshot. It doesn't cost you anything to do screenshots, adds a couple extra minutes to the checkout process. Uh, but then you have proof that you in fact did get it activated. Um, only a handful, a couple times I have had to submit a claim because um, the, cap, the cash back for some reason didn't register and having the screenshotted proof and also showing the date and time of the purchase. And then um, of course your final receipt showing your order number. Um, I was able to go back and get my cash back. As you can see right here, it's added up quite a bit. In fact, the computer, the Dell computer I'm using this on, um, I got uh, about 400 of that was from the Dell computer that I'm recording this on right now. So then, at this time, I used the 21% cash back to order a Milwaukee mower. And here is the, your rewards are on the way. You don't always get, I don't always get this email. At the time, the mower was only a thousand bucks. So I got $209.79 cash back. Cash back does not apply to tax. Occasionally, if the website's not programmed properly, it will, but it usually does not. So I ordered that almost a year ago. <coughs> and I got $209.79 cash back. Awesome, right? Uh, it's not just for his hardware. So, about, so we're going to move on to the next one. Dell computers. Yes. Uh, and actually, we just bought a Simpsons arcade machine so let's activate I want to activate it you can go to the product first and then activate or activate on the website browse around and then go to the product it doesn't make too much difference so we're gonna do because we have a mobile arcade in a cargo trailer Wow sold out so I would do the same thing oh oh add to cart was there for a second uh, $699 I don't believe I Gosh, really? These, all these companies are just pissing me off a little bit with all their pop-ups. <coughs> so now we are at Simpsons. I would add it to cart and then do the same song and dance, song and dance, song and dance. Check this out. Now, that, again, this offer is expired. It might actually take me to the page. Let's see. It did take me to the page. Um, but since that offer is expired, it's not going to update there. Really? Everybody wants my feedback today? My feedback is stop asking me for my damn feedback. But as you can see right here, the limited time offer. Arcade went up. The Simpsons Arcade Machine. And I got 
30% cash back. It's actually still pending in my account because this was a, a recent purchase I made just a couple weeks ago and it can take one to two months for the cash back to hit the account. Um, but uh, we got uh, $699 and we got 30% off So we got uh, 209.70 cash back, but you can stack these deals. Uh, if you're an American Express cardholder, they also give you cash back, which uh, I'm not sure what the cash back was. Five percent? I want to say five percent, but that five percent. Whoops. That 5% is off the 6.99, so 34.95. So I got another $34.95 off. Now, if you're like me and our American Express Platinum card holder, every six months you get $200 in Dell credit as a perk. So as an American Express card holder, I got another $200 credit. Right on my American Express bill. And then on top of that, if you're a Dell, if you have a Dell account, you also get another, uh, I can't remember what it was. Was it 14%? I'm not even going to try. Uh, yeah, there we go. Dell loyalty rewards. 3% was it? And you also get another 3%. So I also got 3%, which was another $20.97 to use uh, at another time when I purchase at Dell, which I get $200 every six months of Dell credit. That's why I got too many computers, peripherals, sound bars, use it on TVs. Um, so let's add it up. So we got... $20.97 in Dell credit plus $200 bill credit from American Express plus $34.95 plus 209.70. So in total, we got $465.62 cash back and credited. Um, of course, there was tax, but um, I'm don't have the exact numbers for that, so 465.62. So I got a $699 arcade one up Simpsons arcade machine for 233.38. And you know what? That doesn't sound quite right. I don't think it was that expensive when I ordered. Order has been shipped. Order confirmed. Order received. No, it wasn't. Or it was. Oh, no, it was on sale. Oh, so I actually got it for $499.99 plus tax. Okay, let's rerun the calculations here. So they, they jacked the price up probably because they were selling out. So we'll just say, let's just make it easy. 500 times 0.3. So it was 150 off for Capital One Shopping. $25 off for uh, American Express cash back. Minus $200 for my Dell credit on American Express Platinum. And then... Dell Perks, 15. So 390 off. And I suck at math, so I might still be off on this. I 
I knew that didn't sound right. That sounds more realistic. $110 for an arcade one-up free shipping. Yep, that sounds about right. Yeah, they raised the price. I knew they raised the price on this. Then $6.99, there's no way in heck I would have did that much. I would have went for the Tron cabinet instead. Uh, did I trick it? <laughs> wow, I did. I tricked it into putting it in my car, even though it says sold out. So there you have it. You um, can do it with pretty much any site that's compatible with Capital One Shopping. Not all of them, but quite a bit. I know it works with B&H, um, although I don't really shop from them. Um, I did it when I got my AirPod Pros. Uh, I'm actually Here's another one I'm looking at. Uh, I've been doing mainstays. I want to get a little gazebo for my Airbnb. And uh, here's 10, instant 10% 10 off if I wanted. Or if I keep messing around, exclusive deal, Dell Technologies. <laughs> that one's still in there. Only five dollars back on Capital One Shopping, but uh, yeah, you can you can manipulate it quite a bit. Uh, not too good of showing here. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Ten percent off or ten percent cash back on AirPod Pros. But again, if you keep hitting this over and over again. Uh, you can you can get some really good deals, and so far the best I've seen is 30% cash back. So um, so far it works the best for Milwaukee Tools on AceHardware.com. I don't believe Home did Home Depot work with Capital One Shopping? I it did. That's right. Home Depot does work with Capital One Shopping. I remember I got my hacks all and a few other things. Uh, Come on, load faster. Why is the internet so slow? But uh, Home Depot, it does more category-specific stuff. Um, now, on Home Depot, it is <coughs> stackable with, uh, with military discount, since the cashback is kind of independent. Or if you're on, like, Slick Deals um, or in Reddit, getting some some good deals um it will stack the percentage off could stack with um pricing errors and whatnot of course if you can still get the uh, one of the offer emails before whatever the deal is sells out so that's it hope i can help some of you save some big bucks on stuff um hope uh, if, if this has helped you at all please like and subscribe um and share i will uh, pass along some links in the description box below. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Bye-bye.